This is Mission Control Houston. Good morning. Today is Wednesday, August 16th, 2017. You are getting a look here live inside the International Space Station Flight Control Room, where teams here are awaiting the installation of the SpaceX Dragon cargo vehicle on its uh, 12th commercial resupply mission. Some of the flight controllers from the Orbit 2 team coming in today. You can see in the front there, Mary Lawrence, flight director from the Orbit Orbit 1 shift. Standing next to her is uh, Andrea Mogensen, um, the uh, Capcom from this morning for the Grapple Operations. Uh, next to them are the Orbit 2 team going to take over uh, here shortly for installation procedures uh, in the next hour or so. Next to Mary Lawrence is Rick Hanfling, uh, the uh, Orbit 2 uh, flight director for uh, today, and uh, seated uh, actually to the right of Andrea Mogensen is um, uh, Drew Morgan, Capcom for Orbit 2. Across the aisle there uh, from Rick Henfling, the flight director for today, are the visiting vehicle officers, Paul Lane, uh, from this morning's shift, uh, overseeing the operations of the grapple of the uh, Dragon capsule for its 12th resupply mission. Mark Anderson, the visiting vehicle officer, next to him, taking over for the Orbit 2 shift. Dragon is currently uh, captured uh, on the International Space Station. The uh, station is currently flying 260 statute miles uh, just east off the coast of New Zealand over the Earth right now, 17,500 miles per hour. Dragon is currently uh, oriented in its uh, installation position. Uh, robotics officers on the ground are uh, about to move it into its, uh, are, are going through, actually, its pre-installation activities, uh, preparing to actually berth it to uh, the International Space Station today. Right now we will be providing coverage of uh, the installation procedures. What we're looking forward to is uh, uh, second stage latching. Uh, that'll be four gangs of four bolts that are on the common berthing mechanism uh, on the uh, nadir port of Harmony. That's the earth-facing side, the, the top of your screen that you're seeing right now. Uh, four gangs of four bolts, 16 bolts will be driven to uh, officially capture uh, SpaceX today. We can look forward to that here shortly. Operations for the grapple this morning went a little bit ahead of schedule. Um, capture time for this morning was 5.52 a.m. Central Time. This is after launching uh, just two days earlier, August 14th at 11.31 a.m. Central Time. Uh, the Dragon capsule lifted off uh, on top of a Falcon 9 rocket uh, at the Kennedy Space Center on, uh, again, 11.31 a.m. Central Time on Monday uh, from Launch Complex 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Nearly a uh, two-day rendezvous later was uh, captured by uh, both Jack Fisher and uh, Paolo Nespoli working together in the uh, Kubala workstation this morning. They used the station's robotic arm uh, once it was in its captured position to grab it at, again, 5.52 a.m. Central Time. Here's a replay from uh, that event this morning. Paolo Nespoli was uh, relaying some of the information down to the ground with to uh, Capcom Andreas Morgensen, uh, Mogensen, uh, Jack Fisher at the controls using the station ro station's robotic arm to grab uh, the Dragon capsule this morning.
Right now, the uh, station's robotic arm holding uh, this, the dragon just a few centimeters away from the common berthing mechanism, again at the Earth-facing side of the Harmony module. That's the module at the very front of the International Space Station. Soon we'll see uh, uh, the dragon uh, actually go into its uh, pre-birthing procedures that will just uh, bring it closer to the common birthing mechanism and begin first and second stage installation. Onboard Dragon now is over three tons of science research supplies and hardware, actually 6,400 pounds of it. Many experiments aboard, uh, some of them actually include uh, studying the cosmos, others studying protein crystals, uh, a couple satellites, as well as uh, stem cell research uh, that is to be done on the International Space Station here once the hatches are open and inst or installation is complete and hatches are open. Uh, astronauts will begin to ingress or enter the Dragon and gather some of those materials to uh, start studying and conducting those experiments uh, aboard the International Space Station. Again, the uh, Dragon was captured a bit ahead of schedule today, flight controllers uh, working through their procedures, powering through, rather, uh, to get that done on time at 5.52 a.m. Central Time. Uh, we have a clip of this morning's activities uh, to play for you here, just to recap some of uh, the, the capture of the Dragon spacecraft here. Uh, once that pl clip plays, we'll come back and uh, continue to cover the installation of uh, Dragon 2, the International Space Station. Expecting to see the uh, station's robotic arm move here shortly. Dragon holding at about 11.3 uh, meters away from the International Space Station. New station on two for Dragon capture. And we are at the end of step for decimal two, proceeding with capture. Copy, Paolo. <laughs> Station's uh, robotic arm now in motion, uh, getting ready to capture the Dragon here shortly.
four meters away from capture. three meters from capture. Dragon holding at about 11.4 meters away from station. Two meters from capture. One and a half meters, everything looking good so far. One meter away. One pin. Over the pin. Trigger. And that is confirmed capture 5.52 a.m. Central Time, uh, just o north over New Zealand uh, over the Pacific Ocean. And we're back uh, live here in Mission Control Houston, looking at the International Space Station Flight Control Room. Uh, that was just a clip from this morning's activity again. Uh, that capture time, 5.52 a.m. Central Time. Now the SpaceX Dragon, uh, thanks to the robotics officers on the ground, have oriented the Dragon into its uh, installation position, just a few uh, centimeters away from the uh, common berthing mechanism, holding um, just outside its installation position. Teams on the ground just going through their checklist uh, to make sure that uh, installation is okay. Uh, then they'll begin the procedures to uh, berth Dragon to the International Space Station. Again, 
uh, we are waiting for second stage berthing. That will be the official time of the installation of Dragon to the International Space Station. Four gangs of four bolts, 16 bolts total, will be driven to officially capture uh, the cargo vehicle, and that will allow the sta space station crew members to, later today, open the hatch and reveal some of the cargo inside, including some, in some experiments, supplies, and hardware, and, uh, of course, some fresh food for the uh, crew members aboard the International Space Station. Still overseeing uh, handover operations here in Mission Control Houston. You can see uh, two flight controllers per console just handing over some uh, of the activities from this morning over to the new shift, the Orbit 2 shift, uh, that'll, take, uh, that'll be overseeing the installation activities and hatch opening today. Waiting the teams again today. Standing up on the left side of your screen is Flight Director Mary Lawrence of the uh, Orbit 1 shift. Uh, next to her at the very bottom of your screen, Rick Henfling, Flight Director for the Orbit 2 teams. Uh, to their right, the two Capcoms handing over uh, Andreas Mogensen from Orbit 1, who oversaw the grapple activities from this morning, handing over his responsibilities as Capcom to Drew Morgan, uh, the Capcom for Orbit 2. Station Houston on Space Ground 2 for any available USOS crew member. Go ahead on 2. Hey, we're getting ready uh, for the install of Dragon, and uh, we're just wondering if uh, anyone's exercising, if Paolo's still on ARAD. And Andy, we have no one on exercise. Uh, I'm not sure about Russian segment. All right, copy that. So no one on ARAD, no one on T2 or Cebus. Thank you. Right. Do we need us to check the Russian segment, or are they okay? Yeah, there's also no Russian exercise. So if you could check for us, that'd be great. That was uh, Capcom Andreas Mogensen, again from Orbit 1, communicating with uh, some of the USOS crew members on board the International Space Station, including US and uh, some of the international partners, specifically Paolo Nespoli uh, aboard the International Space Station now. Randy Bresnik uh, aboard the International Space Station, US crew member, uh, grabbed the comm and confirmed that uh, nobody was exercising uh, aboard the International Space Station, at least on some of the uh, equipment on the USOS side. Uh, that includes the advanced resistive exercise device that, res that uh, simulates weightlifting as, as well as the Civis, which is uh, the stationary bicycle, and the T2, which is the treadmill aboard the International Space Station. Uh, uh, limiting the exercise and making sure that no one is exercising currently during uh, installation activities just uh, minimizes the vibrations that are coming from the International Space Station and allows the installation of Dragon to the International Space Station to be seamless. Excellent. Thanks a lot. And just for your awareness, we're about an hour ahead on timeline. it up buddy we'll uh, we'll do all the all the work we can tonight so uh, anything you can give us we appreciate thanks we're we appreciate all your help on this So that was, that was a confirmation from the International Space Station. No one is exercising aboard the International Space Station. Teams here in Mission Control Houston uh, uh, assessing to uh, proceed uh, with the installation procedures today. Very shortly here we should uh, see...
the dragon get closer to the common birthing mechanism on the nadir port of harmony the the earth facing side the side that you're seeing right now um, uh, here shortly You're starting to see the uh, daylight come in and orbital sunrise happening right now as the International Space Station is uh, 260 statute miles above the Earth over the South Pacific Ocean just west off the coast of Chile. Capcom uh, Andreas Mogensen also confirming that the uh, timeline is about an hour ahead of schedule. Robotics officers aiming for uh, approximately about an 8.40 a.m. Central Time uh, installation today. You're getting a look at the uh, Dragon cargo vehicle. SpaceX's Dragon cargo vehicle inside is about 6,400 pounds of scientific experiments, supplies, and hardware. A lot of different kinds of science aboard, uh, investigating anything from uh, uh, astronomical investigations to uh, microbiological investigations. One of them is, uh, is called CREAM, ISS CREAM, actually. It will be measuring cosmic ray particles uh, from the solar system and uh, de determining what, uh, uh, what sorts of uh, cosmic ray particles pass by the Earth. Space Station crew members will be able to access that, those experiments soon. The robotics officers initiating the sequence to push the uh, Dragon capsule closer to the common birthing mechanism now. We should start seeing the uh, Dragon cargo vehicle uh, getting closer to the common birthing mechanism as we speak.
uh, robotics officers using the station's robotic arm to push the uh, Dragon capsule into position. You can see at the very t sort of top of your screen uh, different sort of divots at the end of uh, uh, where it is meeting the uh, common berthing mechanism. Uh, those are some of the areas where the uh, 16 bolts uh, that will be driven into officially uh, berth or, or attach the Dragon to the International Space Station where those bolts will be driven into. Robotics officers uh, holding the Dragon just a few centimeters away from the common berthing mechanism, uh, just assessing some systems before they push it into its final installation position and get ready to drive those bolts. Dragon uh, continuing to hold just a few centimeters away from the common berthing mechanism at the Earth-facing side of Harmony, Harmony being the module at the very uh, front of the International Space Station, also the module that has the sleeping quarters for the USOS uh, crew members aboard the International Space Station, including Peggy Woodson, Jack Fisher, Bra Randy Bresnik, and uh, Paolo Nespoli.
robotics officers now pushing the uh, dragon uh, into its uh, final installation position. You can see it slowly moving in um, and the uh, uh, into its oriented installation position. So the robotics officers have uh, pushed Dragon into its installation position, uh, very much ahead of schedule, uh, confirming to flight that uh, Dragon is in position, and uh, what's called the RTLs, or ready-to-latch indicators, are all green-lit. Very shortly here, we should uh, be hearing the uh, OSO console, uh, one of the officers here that will be driving the bolts to officially install Dragon uh, to the International Space Station. We will read off uh, where the International Space Station will be and the official time of installation here shortly. So first stage capture is confirmed. Again, we are waiting for second stage capture when those 16 bolts uh, get driven to uh, officially keep Dragon into place. Uh, that should be happening here very shortly. Flight controllers flying through the procedures today. Uh, flight controllers now uh, beginning the second stage capture procedures to drive those 16 bolts.
and just getting a confirmation from the flight controllers, the Dragon capsule has been officially installed, berth to the International Space Station, uh, 8.07 a.m. Central Time, uh, 252 statute miles uh, over the Atlantic Ocean, uh, just east off the coast, coast of uh, Puerto Rico. So again, uh, all 16 bolts have been driven, second stage capture uh, uh, for installation, berthing of the Dragon to the International Space Station is complete. That was completed at uh, 8.07 uh, a.m. Central Time this morning. Flawless execution by the uh, ground controllers and, and flight controllers here in Mission Control Houston. Quick overview of the mission for SpaceX's uh, commercial resupply, Mission 12, uh, launching 11.31 a.m. Central Time on Monday, August 14th, less than two days later, being captured uh, by the robotic arm, uh, Jack Fisher at the controls, next to Paolo Nespoli in the cupola this morning, 5.52 a.m. Central Time, again August 16th, 2017. That was uh, ahead of schedule. Now also ahead of schedule, Dragon has been berthed uh, to the International Space Station, 8.07 a.m. Central Time today. Great execution by the flight controllers here in Mission Control Houston, and of course aided by the flight controllers in uh, Hawthorne, California, and the Mission Control Center for SpaceX. And of course, with the work of the uh, USOS crew members aboard the International Space Station, Jack Fisher and Paolo Nespoli working together to use the station's robotic arm to capture the uh, Dragon cargo vehicle and the 6,400 pounds of experiments, supplies, and hardware aboard. Uh, later today, the space station crew members are scheduled to open the hatch and reveal some of the uh, uh, supplies inside uh, the Dragon capsule. Some of that includes fresh food for the crew members aboard. NASA TV will not be providing coverage of that uh, of those activities later today. You can check the uh, International Space Station blog and go to nasa.gov/iss for the latest updates there. Again, uh, grappled, captured by the station's robotic arm, 5.52 a.m. Central Time today. Officially installed, berthed to the International Space Station, 8.07 a.m. Central Time. That'll do it for us here at the NASA Johnson Space Center. This is Mission Control Houston. Thank mm -hmm. you.